welcome back so let us learn about overview of acceptance level test and also some of the key concepts involved with acceptance test in this lesson so what is acceptance testing so acceptance testing is checking a system to confirm that it satisfies the business and customers criteria for operating the system in live production so just before the system moves into live production environment the people who gave the requirements the end users are the people who are going to take responsibility for the system in its operational environment they have to perform a set of tests and based on the results of the test they may accept or reject the system that's why we call it as acceptance level testing so acceptance testing is usually the final level of testing before a system is used in production we call them sometimes as alpha level testing or beta level testing when we are doing the same kind of activity when we are developing what we call cot software cot stands for commercial off the shelf software or software products or packaged applications so let us learn about the key concepts involved with the acceptance level testing so what is the primary objective of acceptance level so the primary objective is to gain confidence that requirements are met confirm that the system will do what the users are expecting and also provide information about what the users are expecting and provide the information about quality overall quality of the system and the risk involved with the system and verify that the system will meet its contractual or compliance obligations so based on the objective we may call the acceptance test as different with different names some systems require to meet not only the functional requirements but they have to also meet the compliance kind of obligations let's say you build a system that is operating in a regulated environment for example you are building a system for fda the federal drug authority so it is not enough if your customer and you accept the system government agency fda also has to check whether it is complying to their requirements until then the system cannot be put into production so with variety of objectives acceptance tests are done the second point let us talk about what is the information that we use to do acceptance test so again like system level testing here again we use user and system requirements use cases the business processes risk analysis reports and the expectations of the users these are all the information that can be used to design analyze and conduct acceptance tests and what is the object that we are testing at the time of acceptance level the business processes fully integrated system operational maintenance processes user procedures and all these because now after these activity the system will land in its ultimate environment that is production environment or live environment so we have to check all these things not only end to end fully integrated system but because the operational people are going to take care of the system when it is in production lot of those operational processes maintenance processes procedures that have to be applied by users all of them have to be tested and they can be your potential test objects at the acceptance level the fourth item let us talk about what are the primary types of testing performed at the time of acceptance test so typical tests are fitness for use by system users and business now we may not really do a lot of negative testing and try to find defects it is whether the system can be used by the system users the business users then the administrative people system administration people to do their backup restore disaster recovery management user management and to perform maintenance tasks on the system the data load sometimes the migration related tasks security related issues have to be checked and those are the uh, typical types of testing performed at the time of acceptance testing and what are the typical defects that are found the typical defects are not only not meeting requirements but whether the software is serving a purpose or need 
So meeting requirements, but not needs. The software may be meeting requirements, but still the needs of the end users are not fulfilled. That kind of defects are found during acceptance testing, missing requirements, again, code logic errors, usability issues, security issues, hardware configuration problems, and maintainability issues. Whether the system, whenever undergoes a change, whether it is easy to make a change in the system or not, that issue is called maintainability issue. These are the typical defects found at the time of acceptance testing. <coughs> typical testers who conduct this testing the users, customers, often they take assistance from the test team. But otherwise, the people in the customer place who gave the end user requirement, they may do acceptance test. That is what we call user acceptance. And before putting it into production, the system administration people, the operations people will conduct another type of test. That, that is why we call it as operational acceptance. So the customer teams, either functional teams or system operations people will be conducting these tests. What is the typical environment? Like system test, again, it is performed in an environment as close as possible to production with typical system configurations and configuration data. So still acceptance test is done in a environment, test environment, not in the real production environment. What are the typical tools we use again like system testing we use commercial and open source testing tools such as QTP selenium and what are the specific approaches we take while doing acceptance level test the operational testing whether the system can be put into production compliance testing whether if it is has to meet some of the government obligations whether it is meeting or not and in cots and packaged applications for the acceptance test we use things called alpha testing and beta testing. So variety of approaches are used. We'll talk about all of this as little bit now. So what is operational testing? Operational testing is testing conducted to evaluate a component or system in its operational environment. That is production environment. Okay, Whether it is meeting all the obligations that, that need to be met so that the system can be moved to a production environment that is disaster recovery, backup restore, migration tasks, maintenance tasks, user tasks, all those things have to be tested in the operational testing phase. And as I told you, sometimes the acceptance testing has to be done by the regulatory agencies. So testing to determine if the system and software, whether they are complying with contractual obligations between the customer and the vendor and also regulatory requirements, legal requirements, audit rules, all these things have to be checked. And if that is the approach we are taking, that is called contract and regulatory acceptance testing. Then, as I told you, in the COT scenario, we don't really call it as a UAT, but we call at the two levels, that one level is called alpha level testing and then beta level. What is alpha level testing or alpha testing approach? So, it is a simulated or actual operational testing by potential users, customers or an independent test team at the developer side. Take a, I have built a product before releasing it to the market. I invite some of my potential users, customers and make them do testing in my office, my site, developer site. But they are all independent people. They are outside my development organization. So they can test it give feedback. Based on the feedback, I can rework and then only release the software. But again, another level product company is used that is called beta testing. Just before releasing generally to the market, they have to conduct after alpha, they will conduct what we call beta testing. So what they do? Operational testing by potential or existing users, customers at an external site. So now, Alpha testing has been done in your own site, whereas now I will give DVDs of the software to my customers and ask them, you test it in your own place and give me the feedback. And that is called beta testing. So people take feedback from beta testing, they rework and then only they make the product generally available to the market. So another testing acceptance approach is 
site testing or we also call it as factory testing. What is factory testing? Testing that is performed in live production after the system is operating at a customer site or a in a user environment such as a factory. So these are all variety of approaches in acceptance testing. So user acceptance, uh, operational acceptance, compliance and regulatory acceptance, alpha testing, beta testing, site testing, all these different approaches in different situations can be applied and but all of them come under acceptance level testing. So let us answer a question, check your understanding. So I have six scenarios on the screen. You have to tell me which scenario is what level of testing is needed. So let us go through the first scenario. You have completed system testing and are ready to see if the system meets the user needs. What level of testing has to be performed? Yes, you are right, that is acceptance level. Second scenario, you are ready to test the complete system to confirm that everything works as specified. What level of testing you have to perform? Yes, system level testing. You have tested the individual components and want to confirm that the interfaces interact correctly. So which level of testing will address this problem? That is integration level. Now let us go to the next scenario. The developer has just completed coding a module and wants to run the first tests on that. So what is the level of test? That is component level test. The users perform functional tests using normal business scenarios. What is this one? Is it component or is it system or is it acceptance or integration? Here the users performing functional tests using normal business scenarios that is acceptance testing. The last one, a developer created a stub so he could test a component by itself. So a developer is testing a component, maybe he required some data from another component but that is not yet ready so he created a stub. So what level of testing is that? Yes, you are right, it is component level test. So hope you have understood all the test levels and these understanding with a lot of clarity is important for your preparation for ISTQB as well as attending testing interviews. So please watch these videos carefully and post questions in the discussion forums. I will be addressing your questions. So learn, have fun.